Hi everybody, I'm going to do a little run through of Khan Academy. People have been having problems, some of my students have been having problems uh, getting it to work. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to use it with the help of my son here, my seven year old son. Alright, so what you're seeing here is uh, I'm on Khan Academy. Uh, this is my ID uh, size scholar and I'm going to show you how I want you to use it. Now, see this button here that says watch? I really don't want you to use that. Okay. When I give my homework to my students, I want them to be on this next part, practice. <coughs> Excuse me. So you click on practice, and it will bring you to the screen actually that I'm already on. Okay. And that's <laughs> where we're going to do our math questions. All right. So there are two things. This first thing here is called a knowledge map. I'm going to zoom out on it, and it starts all the way up at mm, counting, basic counting and addition, and it moves all the way down to calculus. I can zoom out on this. Calculus. Okay, so young kids use this, old kids use this, everybody uses this, and they keep adding more and more skills. So it's it's for everybody this thing. Okay. Um, right here on the left, you can see some of the things I've been working on: parallel lines, uh, angles, angle bisector theorem, inverse of functions. Uh, most people ask me the same questions. They ask me where should I start. Or where should my child start? I say, just start anywhere. I don't care where you start. It doesn't, it's not important. It's gonna, you're going to whiz through the easy stuff, and you're going to get, you're going to slow down when you hit the, the new material, the more difficult stuff. But that's just how it goes. It doesn't matter if you start easy or hard. All right. Now there are two ways to look at the, um, I would say, the body of problems here. One is with this knowledge map, which I really don't like, and the other is with if you click on your profile here, click on visit profile. Um, and then click on skill progress here on the left margin. Uh, you can see the, I think it's now 360, how many skills is it, John? Like 378. It's like 378 skills here. And you see in the upper left hand corner is addition one, one digit addition, number line, uh, representing numbers. And it goes on and on. It starts with geometry and functions. And it's in this big box that you can really see. Uh, how much you've done, how much you haven't done, and how much there is to do. Um, this blue box up here where it says proficient, that is the goal. You want a blue box in every one of these categories. And for monitoring your children, you just tell them you want to see more blue boxes. Tell them you want to see five blue boxes today. Tell them you want to see the whole second row of blue box or the whole third row. <coughs> That's how you know they're done with the subject. And um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, that in a second. Um, oh, if the box isn't blue, um, it might might be orange. That says it's review. Uh, that probably just means that you have to answer a couple questions um, in order to turn it into a blue box. So let me. Just, well, we'll go over that later on. And if it's red, you can see that they're struggling with something. Okay. Now let's go into something. Um, let's go back to practice, and let me just show you how we do something. Okay, we'll go into the parallel line section. Okay, parallel lines. Two horizontal lines are parallel. There's a third line that intersects them as shown. Solve for x. Okay, look, two parallel lines, one here, one there. This line is called a what? What's it called, John? It is called a bisector. No, it's a transversal. Oh, yeah. Tran it looks like it's bisecting, but it's a transversal. Okay, and we have to figure out uh, the relationship between 4x plus 42 degrees and 7x plus 6. Well, these are these two angles are congruent, and these two angles are congruent because of um, because of vertical angles, and so we can equate seven x plus six to four x plus forty two, and I can do that in my head. That tells me three uh, x equals thirty six, and x I believe equals twelve. All right, so we punch in twelve. We hit enter once, twice. It brings me to the next question. Now you're gonna have to speed up because if you go slowly, uh, Khan understands that you went slowly and it doesn't. Doesn't, it doesn't give you that blue box that we want. Okay, so I'm going to go speed it up here a little bit, a little more. 2x plus 80. Uh, these two angles are not congruent. These are congruent. These two angles are complementary. So we have 5x minus 5 plus 2x plus 80 equals 180. So I have 7x plus um, 75 equals uh, 180. Okay, we subtract 75 from both sides. We get 7x equals 105. Uh, x equals 15. Okay, 15, boom, boom. There we go. Let's speed it up. These two angles are corresponding angles. They're congruent. 
So let's subtract the 3x from both sides, and let's subtract 12 from both sides. We get 51 equals 3x. What's 51 divided by 3, John? Uh, that is... Got to be faster, big guy. 17. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Alternate interior angles. They're equal. 8x plus 20 equals 3x plus 115. We're going to get 5x equals 95. x equals... What? Huh? 5x equals 95 x equals 19. 19. Okay. And you can see this, uh, well we had a little badge or something they gave us up there, it's not that important. Uh, Khan likes to give, bestow kudos on the kitties. Alright, 7x plus 8 equals 3x plus 80. These angles are going to be alternate interior angles, they're going to be equal again. 7x, subtract 3x from both sides, we get 4x equals 72. x equals 18. You gotta know 72 is 4 times 18. It's very important. Aha, these are gonna be equal again. Look, these are equal. So we're gonna get 2x plus 44 equals 8x plus 60. We're gonna get 6x equals 84. Uh, 6x equals 84. X is what? 14? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. You can see we have one. Is this one more question left? No, it's two. Two more questions left, and this, and this is called a stack. So these two angles are going to be supplementary, so we're going to get 6x plus 8x, 14x plus 68. You can use this scratch pad here if you want, or a piece of paper. I like a piece of paper better. 4x plus 68 equals 180. Subtract 68 from both sides, we have 14x equals 112. So what's that going to be? 14x equals 1, 1, 2. What's that going to be? Let's see, it looks like 6, 7, 8. 80 and 13, it looks like 8. We're done? One more. Okay, these angles are not going to be equal. These angles are equal. So these angles are supplementary. So we get 7x plus 138. This is an easier question or an easier computation. What does it say? Plus 138? Yeah. Oop, it's 138 equals 180. So let's see, 180 minus 138 is going to be what, 42? Yeah. 7x equals 42, x equals 6. Okay, let's see. Counting hard earned leaves. Ah, we looks like we got a blue box. Is that a blue box, John? Uh huh. Okay. And you've also finished up parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, good. I finished that up. Now, uh, let's go back to my profile for a second and let's look at these. Well, let's go back to my profile and skill progress. I want you to toggle between skill progress and uh, the knowledge map, really. That's how I navigate around. Okay, so now again, John, what do these, these orange boxes mean? It's review. I need to, I'm almost done. I just need to, uh, what, do one or two questions? One. One question. Now, how do I do the review? Well, you, you can just go back to practice. Click on practice. And see that attain mastery? Okay. Click on it. Click on that. Okay. And that gives you what you have to review. Okay. Measure this angle in degrees. Oh boy, I don't even remember doing this. So let's see. We slide the protractor on to this. Put it right here. Is that it? Yep. And so looks like it's trying to be 150, right? Yep. They're going to use a round number. Okay. P and Q are parallel. Which angles must be congruent to the given angle? Well, this is going to be congruent, that's going to be congruent, that's going to be congruent, and we're done. Okay, what else? Hopefully I won't make any mistakes here. Let's see. Uh, these are probably going to be equal. Uh, this No, they're, oh, they're, yeah, they're equal. The, all four of these angles are equal. So 7x plus 20 equals 2x plus 115. 5x equals 95 again, and that means x is 19 again. Okay, let's see. Here, what is the value of the angle marked with x? Okay, we see two sides, 8 and 8. That tells me this triangle is isosceles. So let's see, 180 minus 40 is 140 minus 6 is 134. Divided by 2, uh, what's that going to be? 65 and 267 degrees. Okay, great. All right, plot 6 comma 3, that's going to be easy. Oh, we have to drag this point over, is that how we do it? Yep. Okay, 6 comma 3, check the answer, next question. Okay, plot 7, 7, and select the quadrant in which the point lies. 
seven seven and that's gonna be easy. We're gonna go seven seven. Let's see, seven and seven, and it's in quadrant one. Okay, good. Okay, this video is getting to be ten minutes long here, so I probably have to kill it. Um, but you get the general idea. Uh, okay. Uh, one thing you might want to do, good idea, John's whispering me to tell him about coaching. Uh, I want my students to choose me as a coach. So they click on your profile, they click on coaches, and they're going to enter my email address in here, which is going to be scholar at gmail.com. And you can enter your parents in here, you get unlimited coaches uh, if your parents want to monitor your time. Oh, activity. Okay, this, this, if I click on the activity tab, I or any of my coaches can see how much time I've spent on the website. So today I've spent 10, you can see I spent 10 minutes on skills and that's it. Um, it's not a lot. But the, the cool thing about this, I'm going to click on my coach tab and show you my students, is that I can see, um, I can see my students, uh, um, I can see their daily activity. I can see this is my son here. He's the only one to do a math on a Sunday. Um, oh, I've got one of the students, Sabrina. She's doing her work today. Uh, the rest of them haven't took, took today off. Um, I can also see here um, by, by uh, student. Um, so let's look at uh, my son here, Lego Master. And you can see, <laughs> yeah, Lego Master 2. You can, I can see exactly what he's been working on. I can see exactly how much time he spent on it. So you can see today he spent 52 minutes on skills. Yesterday he did nothing. Day before, nothing. Um, what's this, Thursday? He did 40 minutes on skills, two minutes on videos. Uh, and I can see that. And I can also click to see the totality of what he's done. Uh, where do you see his skill progress? Now he's still seven years old, remember. Um, come on. Look, all these blue boxes, he's proficient, all this stuff. That's because he, I did only a review today. Okay. Um, and you can see that, you know, he's even done the calculus stuff. Matrix, operations, limits, uh, product rule, chain rule, that's all calculus. Quotient rule. Uh, and I can see the red stuff that he tried and he, you know, he didn't get done uh, for whatever reason. But, you know, if they struggle on something, it's fine. They can watch videos, they can, um, they can get hints. Uh, oh wait, one more thing. I want to show you one more. Uh, I want to show you one more thing. Let's let me click on practice uh, and tell you, show you exactly why um, Khan is so good. Okay, so we're looking at angles. Two question for me here, and they want to know what angle AJF is right here. Now I don't know, so I'm going to say I'd like a hint, and it's going to give me this hint. It's going to say, well, angle. DIJ is 180 degrees minus AIC. So that's a hint. This is helping me uh, work my way up to answer the question. But you know what? Maybe I still don't get it. I can click on another hint. Okay? And then another hint. And another hint. It has multiple, it doesn't just give your child the answer, it gives them multiple uh, layers of progressive hints. And you know what? It says right here if, st if you're stuck, watch a video. And that video here is, uh, let's see, for this particular topic, the angle game, using what we know to solve for angles. All right, so this is doing, this is individualizing uh, math instruction uh, on an automated basis like nothing has ever done before or, or like no teacher is capable of doing. I mean, I mean, there's no teacher that can answer your child's math questions at 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning or 11 o'clock at night. Uh, but this is what Khan does uh, for your child. And, this thing is 100% free. Uh, it's getting better all the time. Uh, I don't know that there's a, there's not a student in this country uh, that should not be on this every day. Uh, technology is your friend. And, um, and that's going to wrap up this video. It might be too long. Hopefully YouTube let me upload it. I'll see you in another con video soon. Thanks.